the way that we have impressions is a bit like um, now in English you would call this jelly so gelatine uh, so a kind of a semi-transparent stuff that they that children eat and it's generally flavored with like artificial fruit flavors and stuff like this and these bright colors and it's made out of gelatine and you add hot water to it and it turns into a sort of a, a semi-solid um, and uh, when I was a kid you you know everybody used to get it for dessert and, and whatever because it was cheap and uh, you just add boiling water and then you leave it to go cold and it becomes semi 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 solid and you can eat it with a spoon and it's and it wobbles you know if you shake it it will wobble do you know what I'm talking about or not yeah totally totally right, yes. okay, okay. well I hope everybody else does who's listening to it. but anyway now the thing is that this is not solid it's semi solid so like I say it wobbles it's very Know, it's you to you can stick your finger in it and move it around and whatever but it's not it's not actually liquid but it's sort of in between being liquid and being solid or something like that. now if you were to take boiling water and you would take a drop of boiling water and put it on this jelly it would make a hole in it now if you were to take boiling water and then drop another drop on top of that but you didn't drop it exactly on the same place as you dropped the first one it would hit maybe the edge so the boiling water would also make another hole in the jelly but where it overlapped where it touched the other hole that hole would get even deeper and the new hole would be the same as the first one only like half of it or something and the same would happen every time you put a new drop of boiling water on it what was already deep would get deeper. Mm. So this is the way we learn things, is that actually this is a very good model for how we learn things, is that you, you get a first impression, and that first impression only gets deeper, even if you add to it, even if you add contradictory or supplementary or additional material, the first one always gets deeper. Surrender is an opening, let's say. It's much more to do with opening to what is possible. And submission is knowing that there is something there and getting out of the way of it, let's say. Or allowing yourself to be um, carried away with it, maybe would be a good thing. So submission is really... Um, the wave is coming towards you and you allow yourself to be carried away with it and to be pushed under by it and to be carried along because if you do that properly you'll actually be spat out on the on the beach anyway if you submit to it if you fight against it you're going to drown probably so and surrender has to do with not knowing what is coming or not being completely clear about it. If you mm. submit, if you submit to something, you know what that thing is. If you to, if you surrender to something, it's not quite as concrete. It's not quite as clear to you what it is that's coming in. So you can say, let's put it in Christian terms: you submit to a law, right? Maybe some biblical law or something like you know, "Thou shalt not kill." So you submit to that. Right? You go along with that and you know what that involves. And if you do go along with it, you're going to find out that, you know, where does that lead you? It leads you into all sorts of places you didn't think you were going to go. If you really submit to this law, not killing is very, very difficult. <laughs> Every time you breathe, you're breathing in many many tiny little living things and you're killing them every time you walk across a piece of grass you're killing something so if you submit to this law you've got a lot of work to do mm. any musician or artist or anybody who's done sport to a high level knows the point at which you're not doing anything it is doing 
you. Mm. Right? And most people, you know, they don't have any direct experience of that, um, except maybe in the sexual act, or maybe they get really, 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 really tired, uh, and suddenly they aren't doing anything at all. It's being done. And you're simply the medium that's being used in order that this thing is being done. In the same way as a child, you know. Uh, if you talk to people who've had several children, very often they will tell you, ah, yeah, but this child, this child really wanted to be here. <laughs> <laughs> and you have very little to do with it, actually. <laughs> There's a, and then, you know, in some, in some cases, you know, people will actually tell you they know the moment that this per person became possible. Very often. You know, I mean, I, I I personally have had this experience, so I can tell you it's real. So, uh, and you know, it's you're you're just the medium. You know, you're just the you're just the way it happens, <laughs> basically. <laughs> and if it wasn't you, it'd be somebody else. You know? So it's, <laughs> but just like with the surfing, you can take part in it. You know, and you can ride it. You can either allow the wave to smash on top of you and just be carried along with it or you can work with it and you can do something which is very short you know surfers don't surf waves for very long they only last a few minutes at best you know but there it was there it was and there's no way you can cap you can look at a film of it uh, and you can go wow but actually doing it there's no way you're going to ever know what that is unless you do it no matter how many facts you've got about it, about how fast the water was traveling and how high the wave was and how much the surfer weighed and how thin his surfboard was, none of this is going to help you at all. Not even slightly. You can use that. You can use that outrage. You can use that anger as fuel you can choose to just throw it away and to go off and do something which will make you less angry and less, or you can actually use that as a rocket fuel. So mm. next time, <laughs> and <laughs> just like just like with building a physical muscle, it takes effort, but it takes energy to supply that effort, doesn't it? So you need to have had, you know, you, you can't go and lift weights if you haven't eaten for a week. So the anger or the outrage or the discomfort or the friction which is provided by realizing these things can be used to power, let's say, to power more, more, more and more of the development of this muscle of realization. So that's why when people do get upset um, about the records that I put out or whatever, they go, ah, yeah, but it's like... That that's one of the reasons it's supposed to be irritating it's supposed to be a puzzle you can't solve and it's supposed to be frustrating and it's supposed to be this despair how the hell am i ever going to understand this or whatever that's what it's for that's what that is all about 